Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we're reviewing the East Oak, right there it is, hanging patio heater. Uh, this thing heats up to 53.82 square feet. They've added that up somehow. Uh, hangs down, it's got a nice long cord, about six feet or so. All the specs and details will be listed down in the YouTube description below. I'm going to go over the installation and the unpackaging and putting together and all that good stuff while I talk about the specs. This is a ceiling mount patio heater with a max of 1500 watts. Comes with a remote, it hangs from your ceiling. It's outdoor heater, uh, it's IP65 waterproof and dust proof rated. Uh, it's tip over and overheating protection, it's two heat settings with the max of course being the 1500 watts. And the good thing about it being hanging and 360 degrees is you do get that 360 degree heat around it. Um, if it's out in a windy, breezy area, you're going to kind of have to get closer to it. But if you do live in a, in a house that has a sunroom or something like that that kind of blocks the wind, you will benefit from that radiant heat more than being fully exposed. Kind of like we are right here, it's kind of exposed. But the thing about this is we're going to make an addition soon that goes over that way. And we're going to have curtains up to block wind and cold. So it made sense for me to put that there. It's a double ring carbon fiber tube. So this is a height of 27.5 inches, which is what I have it here. But you can take it all the way down to 49.2 inches, which would be way down here at my shoulder. So that would have been way too low. So I just looped it back up, connected it back up to the ring up top and then we got the 27 inches. And basically the two heat settings is 750 watts or 1500 watts and it's done by the remote and you'll click either max or low and you'll get one ring come on or two come on. There is a power switch underneath. You turn the power on and then you actually turn the device on with the remote after that. Its dimensions are 17.7 inches uh, wide by 8.07 inches thick. So it's very small. And with that overheat protection, if it gets too hot before it's going to do any kind of damage, it's gonna automatically shut off. And the cord length is 6.89 feet. Material is aluminum. It's totally cool to the touch on the top with the thing on, which is great. Uh, and it's got those carbon uh, elements there to heat. And the unit weighs seven and a half pounds. So it's pretty light. It's not crazy huge. It's not an eyesore. It's just there produces some heat. So if you go down at a cone, you're probably left with about a 10 foot diameter underneath, five feet off center. And that's with me having it in practice on a cold night. Uh, you move five feet off the center, you feel the heat. It gets stronger the more you move right underneath it. Uh, you can sit in a little circle underneath it and be okay. But if you have a covered patio in some manner, it will heat up everything from that. But this is a smaller, unit it's not to say it's bad but you just need to know you need to tailor your expectations to what you're going to get you're not going to get a huge heater that's going to cover your entire massive patio that's not going to happen they do sell other products which i'm hoping to get my hands on and mount over here on the wall it's a, a big rectangle unit that you can mount and it uh, will cast more heat out it costs more I think the cost is about right. It has a clippable coupon down in the YouTube description uh, for this unit. And I believe with that clippable coupon applied, I think you're right there in the region of replacing your gas heater that's like this. So you reduce this pole and the gas tank and all that junk. I hate dealing with those every year. And what I've done to mount this, by the way, is I mounted it there first, uh, ran it up with some zip ties, attached it to the cable, and then came across and mounted, just got some cheap hooks, like a dollar eighty for a six pack of these little hooks, like cup hooks that you screw in. Uh, screwed those all the way down and then attached uh, an extension cord to that and then ran it down the wall to where I have my TV mounted back behind it and plugged it in. So no problems on, on that side of it. And what the hooks give me to do, if I go lefty loosey, uh, move it to the left, I can pull the cable down and take it completely down, store it for the summer, and then bring it back, because the D-ring's still up there, bring it back, and then turn the uh, hooks to the right and run the cable back and attach it back again. So it can be a seasonal, not a permanent 
attachment this way and it's pretty cheap to do it but uh overall i do like it i enjoy it uh i think it's gonna we're gonna benefit from it for sure and if the pets want to come out here and hang out during the winter we can just turn this on and they got a place to sit and, and still be kind of warm underneath it uh while getting some fresh air too during the winter so it's a plus plus for the price for us it's a plus so make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong to get notified of the next product we've got coming out. Like I said, this product link will be down in the YouTube description. See you later.